On this video, we're going to talk about the profile and notification settings inside the new Hunt Control app. So you want to open your app. Uh, on just about any screen of the app, you will see this icon up here at the top. And this icon looks like a little person. This is your profile icon. When you click it, you'll immediately get two options. One for logging out of the app and two for your profile page. So we're going to go into the profile page. And we see a little bit of information here. We're going to see your basic user information, your username, your email, first and last name. You know, just some real basic information about your account. You'll see your phone number that the account is tied to. Uh, and you can change this information here. Just click the save button after you change it. You can see your cameras. And so this is where you start getting into the notification settings. So you can go camera by camera and change whether it's getting email notifications, push notifications, or that camera's active or deactive. So if you wanted to deactivate that camera for a period of time, maybe it's in the hunting season, you're going to deactivate the camera and then adjust your subscription. You could do that from this menu. Uh, so let me go through these in detail. The email notification is exactly what it sounds like. This is, do you want to get emails about activity on this camera? The push notifications, push is the notification you get from the Hunt Control app. So if you had the app for a while and you noticed that that notification popping up with the thumbnail picture and it says new deer image uploaded, that's a push notification. So you can turn those on or off. Most people prefer push notifications to email. They're a little bit easier to see and a little bit uh, easier to manipulate multiples. Whereas email, you may have a hard time opening a lot of them. Now the activate option, you can activate or deactivate that camera. Now currently, because of restrictions from the app stores, uh, both Apple and Google, we cannot allow you to manipulate your subscription inside the app. So the activate and deactivate allows you to turn that camera off, but you will need to go to the huntcontrol.com website and adjust your subscription accordingly to match however many cameras you've got active or deactive. But you could deactivate a camera, go change your subscription, and then when you want to reactivate the camera, you just go change your subscription again, reactivate the camera, and then all of your data for that camera is still going to be there. So it's a way to pause individual cameras without deleting all of their information. So it is a helpful, useful feature, but it will require a couple of steps to adjust your subscription. And of course, the last page is the notifications page. From notifications page, you can get a little bit more detailed. You can say for email notifications, which categories you'd like to receive. And then for push notifications, which categories you'd like to receive. And then you can say whether you'd like activity report emails. These are those uh, daily, weekly, or monthly report emails that just say, here's your cameras, here's how many pictures they took of each category. And you can add additional emails to both the not email notifications and the activity report email. So you just add these down here, click verify. It is going to send them one of those email verification things where they have to click the link. We just do that to make sure that we don't get caught by spam blockers. But if you go ahead and enter the information there and click verify, it'll send them that and then um, you should be good to go. So that is just a little bit about the notification and the profile section. If you have any questions at all, feel free to contact our support staff. We'd love to help you out with them. We hope you're enjoying your experience with the Hunt Control app and all of our Wise Eye products. And we just hope that you're having the best of luck this season.